In this video we're going to cover a few of the printing options in Commander. Specifically I'm going to show you how to load your logo into the program and talk about a couple of the invoice and repair order form template options. So to start with I'm going to go to the Maintain tab. We're going to drop all the way down to the bottom to Preferences. And in here we're going to notice a Task option which allows us to choose between invoices or repair orders. On the Invoices tab here, we're going to come down to Print Setting, and you're going to see some text here in the header box for your invoicing. And this is actually the text that prints at the top of your invoice forms if you're going to just use a text printing option. You'll also be able to add your uh, website address if you choose to, things like that, email address if you want that printing on your forms. But this is a customizable text box. You can put whatever you want in here, of course, and that's going to print on your invoice forms. Similarly, you can toggle over to the Repair Order tab here, go down to Print Settings, and the text that appears in the header box here uh, will print on the top of your repair orders. Now, you also have the option to load a logo into the program, and that will print and replace the text boxes at the top of the invoices. So again, we're going to click on Maintain, drop down to where we see Form Image Settings here, and a box is going to open up where we can load our logo. We can actually select an image here, decide what logo we want to print, and then we can load that logo into the program Commander will actually resize it so you don't have to worry too much about the settings or the dimensions of the actual setting, although they do show you the image size here. It's typically around a business card size. But What I want to mention here is if you replace the text box in your settings, you're going to have to make sure that your logo includes not only your artwork for your store, but also includes your address and phone number because it'll replace the text entirely. So in this particular case, all it would print is just the name, yacht, doc, and then a phone number, and we wouldn't have a physical address. So again, if we select an image and uh, we have our logo ready to load into the program here, this JPEG file has been created with the street address, city, state, and zip, and a phone number. Uh, we're going to want to select print image, save to all forms, and then we can go ahead and save it, or save and preview in this case. And Commander will actually load that logo so that it prints on all of your forms. So for example, if we go to the invoicing program here, and we go ahead and open up an invoice, I'm just going to reprint an existing invoice here. We'll go to our print options here. In the print options, you're going to notice we can choose either for invoicing receipt paper, which should be your thermal uh, three inch receipt paper, or we can print eight and a half by eleven, which would be your laser printer. And there are a number of form templates for you to choose from here. You can select your printer that you want to send it to, that's a Windows printer setting, and also choose the cash drawer option here uh, in terms of whether the station is going to cash out on cash drawer one or two if you have multiple cash drawers. Uh, when we do go ahead and print this invoice, we're going to see that logo is now printing at the top of our forms.